She was a muse of beloved soap opera head writer Douglas Marland, who wrote incredible roles for her on two soaps, As the World Turns and Guiding Light. Now comes word that Lisa Brown has passed away at the age of 67 years old. Lisa Brown, in tribute Soap Opera Digest reported the news that the actress died on November 24 after a short illness. Lisa Brown Neary, as she went by after her time in the soap world, was born on August 2, 1954, in Kansas City, Missouri. It didn't take long for her to realize New York was calling her, or specifically, Broadway. On November 6, 1975, she joined the cast of Hello Dolly. For a little over a month as a dance alternate and understudy for Ernestina and Mrs. Rose. The following year, she was swing for pal Joey, and in 1978 she joined the Best Little Whorehouse in Texas where she was an understudy for Shy while playing other roles, but perhaps her biggest Broadway coup was being part of the original cast of 42nd Street as Peggy Sawyer from August 2, 1982, through more than half of 1983, only leaving because she was pregnant with her first child. While she enjoyed success on the stage, daytime viewers loved her for playing scrappy and sometimes troubled heroines. The first Douglas Marlin creation she played was the utterly memorable Nola Reardon on Guiding Light in 1980. She was the obstacle determined to break up dream couple Kelly, John Wesley Shipp, and Morgan, Kristen Biggard, when she told him she was pregnant. What she left out was that Floyd, Tom Nielsen, was her child's father, but this incredible start would dwarf in comparison to the sweeping love story that followed between Nola and Quint, Michael Tylo. After Quint and Nola left Springfield, and Lisa Brown left Guiding Light in 1985, she followed Marlon that same year to his next head writing job, helming as the world turns where she would be the anchor for a new family, the Have Not Snyder clan. She portrayed eldest daughter, Iva Snyder, who would later be revealed as the secret mother of heiress Lily Walsh, Martha Byrne, who didn't know she was adopted. The fallout of that secret and so much more would help garner the actress to daytime Emmy nominations in 1987 and 1988. She stayed on the show on contract until 1993 but would return in a recurring capacity as needed. In 1995, she had a short stint on the Marlon created Loving, playing Carolyn but would also return as Nola to GL, where she would stay for three years. She would also return to that soap as needed on a recurring basis, including in its final days. She later served as an acting coach for Guiding Light and One Life to Live. She also segued into directing and producing, including working with former on-screen daughter Burn on her web show. Gotham the series, earning them both another Daytime Emmy nomination for Outstanding Special Class Short Format Daytime. Byrne reacted to the news on Twitter by saying, My heart is broken. I reached out to Lisa about starting my playwriting career and she's the one who gave me the confidence, revealed Michael O'Leary, Rick, Guiding Light, to Soap Hub. She was an unrelenting advocate for me and believed in me. Lisa was someone who gave me straight talk with no fluff around the corners. I appreciated that. We worked closely together for years on my first play. I'm broken hearted, stunned, and very sad. Beyond just being a loyal advocate and friend, she was just an immense talent in every respect. On the personal front, Lisa Brown has been married to Brian Neary since March 26, 1997. She was previously married to GL co-star Nielsen. They had two children, James Anthony Nielsen and Victoria May Nielsen before divorcing in 1991. Soap Hub sends condolences to her family, friends, and fans during this difficult time. Adblock test, why?